In 2020, IOE carried out an evaluation of the Coastal Climate Resilient Infrastructure Project, a three-party co-finance project in southwest Bangladesh. The project aimed to rehabilitate climate resilient roads and markets in rural areas that are economically disadvantaged and highly vulnerable to natural disasters and climate change. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the evaluation was carried out remotely by national consultants, coordinated by international consultants. Not being able to visit the field in person to interact face-to-face -face with beneficiaries or to use direct observations made it harder to assess gender dynamics and the power relationships between different stakeholder groups. This was partially overcome by involving a national consultant who had worked in the project area, had expertise in gender, social inclusion, and the network of contacts that helped in gathering spatial data and uh, visual imagery and videos. To compensate for the absence of field visits, extensive use was made of geographic information systems data and satellite and digital imagery. Overall, the GIS data and visual imagery were useful to explore some evaluation questions on infrastructure, performance, quality. This innovation made up for the absence of field visits. It was sometimes quite difficult to locate GIS maps and satellite images that could be used for comparison purposes, and sometimes the quality of maps and images was quite poor. However, other types of data were also needed to assess the institutional, empowerment, social relations and other issues that cannot effectively or fully be captured through spatial means. Asking local engineers and other contacts in communities to take photographs and videos of project infrastructure using their mobile phones proved to be an effective complementary approach for collecting visual data. Obviously, the traditional evaluation approach, which includes field mission, is the first best to evaluate projects that have an important community development component. But in this case, it was not possible because due to the uh, pandemic situation in Bangladesh 2020, we could not conduct the field mission. However, thanks to the availability of good uh, secondary information and by triangulating with satellite images with remote interviews at the government level, at the beneficiary level, and also thanks to small uh, videos and photos taken by local people, it was possible to arrive at a rather nuanced analysis of the project performance and results. And this was also thanks to the specific nature of this project, which focused on market infrastructure and roads.